Okay, the frets are all leveled. Um, as you can see, we've got these flat spots on top of the frets that were high that need to be shaped back into uh, just with a ridge on the top. Um, that's where we're going to get our perfect intonation at. So, we are going to go ahead and use a special tool, a crowning file, it is called, to crown these. Okay, we are now ready to start crowning the frets. We've got all of these flat frets from being leveled with the sanding block. So now we're going to come back with a Sharpie, paint all of our frets black. Then when we get, then we will know when they are done being crowned because there will just be a thin line right across the top. Of course, not all wavy like the one I just drew, but a nice straight line right through the dead center of the fret is what you're looking for. So we're going to color all of these in. Probably won't talk much unless I have some sort of epiphany that I have to tell you guys about while I'm doing this. So hopefully this will be a short yet informative video. Okay, so we have got all of the frets marked with a Sharpie. Um, we have got our three-way crowning file here. This is three different size for three different sizes of frets. Um, I named this so that when this side is up, the small fret is down. Not sure what these are, so we're just going to start out with mediums and see how that treats us. If that's no good. Seems like medium's working pretty well. Looks like it's leaving us a nice rounded... Yeah, let's try jumbo, see what happens. I feel like we might have us some jumbo frets here.
Okay, so we made a pass with the crowning file here. Um, I didn't get quite as crisp of a line on each fret that I, as I would have liked to have gotten. So I'm going to go back through, remark each one of these guys. Do a little touch up with the file and then as soon as I'm done with the file I'm going to hit it with some steel wool and shine them up a little bit. Okay, so now our frets have been leveled, crowned, and polished. May do a little more polishing on them uh, if we screw them up while we're uh, doing anything else to the neck here. Um, so what we're going to do now 
is roll the fretboard. And I've seen lots of ways that people do this. Um, one way that I see is people take a screwdriver and run it over the edge there, like so. That's fine. I mean, that's probably a, a pretty easy way to do it. Um, if you're worried about your ability to do it properly, that's going to be a slow way to do it. Um, and it's going to uh, it's going to take you longer to screw it up that way, basically. But what I am going to do today is use a little flat file. Make sure that it's flat. I guess it doesn't have to be flat. A screwdriver is not flat. And we're just going to go slowly, very little pressure. Changing your angle up every time. Does not take much. Like right there, that one's already a lot more rounded off than the one next to it. Not too worried about the top side of the neck anyways. The bottom is the business end, the side you're going to be feeling. Oh, that's very nice though. So now, I'll come over to this side. All right, we have got some 800 grit wet or dry <clears throat> paper here. Uh, we are just going to go back over all of that that we just did. Kind of make all of the different angles we file that blend together. what this fretboard is made out of. If anybody knows, please, please, please put that in the comments. Oh yeah, just a reminder. Whatever you do, do not sand 
the front edge of the fretboard here at all because without your nut being in the perfect position, which is right up against that, your intonation will never be right. And that's definitely the easiest way to screw it up is to, you'd have to end up putting some filler in it or whatever and push it back that way. But my suggestion is just avoid it like the plague. All right, guys, so we have leveled the fretboard. We have rolled the fretboard. We crowned the frets. And I'm going to run back over it one more time here. Get everything polished up just real quick because I definitely uh, banged the frets up a little bit when I was rolling the fretboard. But I am falling in love with this guitar already. I can't wait to hear it scream with those EMGs in here. I actually ordered today a rechargeable 9 volt battery that has a USB-C port on it. And I got a port extension to a panel mount USB-C jack, which I am going to mount in the rear cavity cover on the guitar. So I can just plug it into my cell phone charger when I am in need of juice. Not exactly sure how I'm going to do the on-off thing. I know that the pickups come with new pots, which I will probably use. I mean, for a few hundred dollars worth of pickups, I hope they come with good pots. But I will probably wire everything as per their instructions which I assume will be wired the same way that Zach Wilde's signature model will be wired. Um, I also, uh, while I'm at it here today, I need to, uh, I do need to oil this fretboard something awful. Unfortunately, though, I am going to at least refinish the headstock on this guitar. If not the whole thing, you guys should put down in the comments, what should I do? I want this to be kind of a I want it to kind of tip its hat to Zach Wilde, but I don't want it to be an exact copy of a Zach Wilde guitar. So if you guys can tell me anything cool for a paint job, I would greatly appreciate it. Just put it in the comments. And if you're the only one who says what I should do with it, I guess I gotta do it how you say. So this is your chance to have this guitar built to your specs. But I think this is going to about do it for this video, guys. The next video will likely be tuners and maybe headstock refinish also. Or maybe I will break those up into two separate videos depending on how long each one takes. I, I don't want to do any more hour and 40 minute videos. Um, I know that's, that's... I'm falling asleep as I'm editing them. God knows what made it into the final cut on those. But stay tuned. I'm going to try and do a video a day. Uh, with the exception of band practice nights and stuff like that. But thank you guys very much for tuning in. Happy New Year. Slam that like button. Subscribe, please. Tell a friend. If you don't like me, let me know in the comments and I'll try to change. I don't know, maybe. Maybe I won't. But thank you once again for tuning in to the IYV Shred Paul, a.k.a. wannabe Zach Wild signature model. God bless, and I will see you next time.